is pure sunshine. The next minute, life is a heavy downpour. And even if the sun does come out again, it can be hard to dry off. Yes, life is tough. But that's what makes life worth living. That's what gives life a beautiful meaning. That's what reveals who we really are. And even though life is hard and challenging, it is still beautiful, even in a downpour. That is why, when it rains, pick up your umbrella and just keep going. Life is tough, but so are you. Find the strength to laugh every day. Find the courage to feel different yet beautiful. Live simply, love generously. Speak truthfully, work diligently. And always remember that no matter how bad the day is, no matter what happens, every day can end beautifully. This is my COVID-19 journey. welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i will be sharing to you my covid19 journey yes um i tested positive for covid19 hindi ko na lang i-mention yung date guys but um, una ko siyang nalaman yung company kasi namin is nagkakandak ng um, rapid antigen test every two weeks so my schedule is Wednesday. In the previous days, wala naman talaga akong naramdaman, guys. I am very very okay. When I report to work on that day, Wednesday, um, I feel like medyo matamlay yung katawan ko and yung feeling na parang sisipunin ako. And then I preferred not to go home yet because um hinihintay ko nga yung rapid antigen test namin at 2 p.m. So since manageable pa naman yung nararamdaman ko, I've decided to just take um alaksan kasi yung feeling ko talaga is yung parang tatrangkasuhin talaga ako guys. And then 2 p.m. na yon nag test na kami and then 15 minutes after. Um, the hospital called our manager informing her that I tested positive. So right away after that, our branch head advised me to, to, to go home and, uh, um, and to isolate myself. And then during that time, I really don't know what to do as in um, nanginginig ako, umiiyak ako. And then I just immediately went to my locker. I get all my my bags, my stuff, all my stuff. And then I, I went home. I am just so lucky that my sister, a eh, meron siyang um, native house. This one, um, an apartment. I'm so lucky na hindi ko na kailangan pang pumunta sa mga quarantine facilities ng LGU namin. So dito na lang ako nagstay. And then. 
on the day one so as you can see on the on the the first part of my video i was really crying so hard because i really don't know what to do guys and i was shocked and at the same time scared i am so worried about my health the health of my son who is also who is still four, four years old i'm worried about the health of my parents because i know that my mother is um weak and I, I, I as in daming pumapasok sa isip ko guys na parang yung mga negative thoughts thing na ginawa ko is nagsuob as in nagsuob talaga ako guys yun talaga yung pinako first na ginawa ko so immediately my mom prepared um, hot water with salt on it and then nagsuob ako guys as in as in grabe yung pinapawisan talaga ako after that um, on the first day guys um, yung pinaka na experience ko talaga is as in grabe yung trangkaso ko guys tapos ang ang init pa ng katawan ko so I had my fever that time at yung pinaka napapansin ko guys dito sa bandang mata dito sobrang sakit tapos parang ang init init mainit yung hininga ko mainit yung pam ko yung pa ko lahat to my family for this oranges day two um must not worse in your situation ko guys so um on that day i remembered na nagreport na ako sa sa aming video covid care dahil yun din yung instruction na branch head namin so um, as protocol kasi namin sa office kapag may nararamdaman ka na mga flu like symptoms or mga symptoms ng covid automatic magre-report ka sa covid care for monitoring at para din uh, mabigyan ka ng doctor ng prescription and then I chat, um, I chat our video COVID care kasi meron naman kaming um, meron silang Facebook Messenger and then I chat them and inform them about about my situation and then they immediately called me called my mobile number and they in interviewed me they asked what are my symptoms what are my um, kela nag start ayun ano, ano yung nararamdaman ko ganon that is why i'm so so thankful to my company dahil hindi naman hindi talaga nila kami hindi talaga nila ako pinabayaan guys and then after that call from our BDO covid care our company doctor immediately called me and then in interview ako ulit and then they asked um Ano, tal ano yung mga symptoms ko? Gaano ba ka, ka worst Or how was it? Am I okay? Kailan ba nag-start? Ganon. So, I, I provided to them, to her, everything. And then, after that, she emailed me an online prescription. Yung pinaka mahirap talaga is yung plangkaso. As in, halos hindi ko maigalaw yung buong katawan ko. Hindi ko mai maiangat yung mga ano ko. Kasi sobrang sakit na pagod na pagod ako guys as in parang naubos talaga yung energy ko so parang yung parang yung parang over fatigue parang ganun nagabihan yan doon na nag-start mag-worsen yung aking situation na hindi ko na talaga mapigilan tumawag talaga ako sa father ko as in super sama ng pakiramdam ko guys nahihilo ako at saka sumuka talaga ako guys as in ilang ulit ako sumuka 
ang sakit ng ulo ko, ang init-init ng buong katawan ko. And then yung feeling guys na you are helpless, man sila pwedeng lumapit sa iyo. Talaga yung pinaka-realization ko guys na kapag nagkaroon ka ng COVID, oh, ikaw lang talaga is just a matter of yung isu-survive mo talaga yung sarili mo dahil wala talagang ibang makakatulong sa iyo ikaw lang. Today is the second day of my quarantine and yeah so just a quick update um currently okay naman may sipon may lagnat may ubo tinatrangkaso pa rin guys so far manageable naman yung mga symptoms tumawag na din kanina yung video covid care namin tsaka yung yung company doctor namin minamonitor din naman yung mga symptoms ko. And now, uh, I'm currently waiting sa uh, yung online na pres prescription niya. Uh, isisend down niya sa email. Uh, Na-mention niya kanina na bibigyan niya daw ako ng antibiotic um, for my, my sore throat. And para mapatay din yung whatever, kung may virus man or what. <coughs> or bacteria. Ganon. So, um, I am just hoping for the best. Tapos, um, confident naman ako na malalagpasan ko to. Um, for now, yung gagawin ko is um, bumawi talaga sa tulog. Kasi yun talaga yung main reason din. Bakit na-down yung immune system ko. Puyat ako lagi. Um, kulang sa rest. And then, I will, I am also trying to drink more water and um, eat um, um, fruits and vegetables as well. So yes, finally guys, um, ito na yung mga gamot ko as um, prescribed by our company doctor. Um, we have here this one, the Immunopro, um, sodium ascorbate um, with zinc. So ayan. And we have here this one, the Senopret Forte. I don't know para saan to, pero I will that just do a research later. And then we have here um, azithromycin. Yan. And then most importantly, Bactidol. Uh, for sore throat, gargle twice a day will safely soothe and give temporary relief of minor sore throat. Kasi nagka sore throat ako guys. Kaya... Um, nareseta na ito ng company doctor namin. So, ayan. We have here the Bactidol. And I will be taking this one for my sore throat. Dahil masakit talaga dito yung sa lalamunan ko. Um, as instructed, um, you have to gargle twice a day. Pero dun sa prescription kasi ng doctor is 3 times a day for 20 to 30 seconds. So, yun yung ipapalo ko. Baba mo na tayo. Hi guys, so just a quick update. So today is the third day of 
um, of my quarantine. And, um, I cannot say na I am okay. Super tamlay pa rin ang katawan ko. Um, as I wake up early this morning, um, <clears throat> masakit yung buong katawan ko, masakit yung ulo ko. And then, kagabi din guys, um, suka ako ng suka. Matagal din akong nakatulog dahil um, nahihilo ako. At saka, hindi ko talaga napigilan, sumuka talaga ako. Maybe it's because of the antibiotic na uh, nareseta ng, doktor, ng company doctor namin. Um, sinurch ko kasi yung mga side effects, um, part yung dizziness, tsaka yung vomiting. Mga ko lang guys is continue ko lang yung tinitake yung aking mga vitamins, tsaka yung gamot na reseta ng doktor. And continue pa rin naman ako sa pag-drink ng aking water. Um, although hindi talaga ako mahili guys uminom ng water to be honest. Pero um, pinilit ko talaga na inumin lahat, na ang damihan yung pag inom ko para lang ma <coughs> para lang um, gumaling at para ma-regain ko yung aking energy and then on the third day guys lumabas na yung result ng PCR test ko and then it's confirmed that I am really positive with COVID-19 after that instead na medyo okay na ako guys bumalik na naman yung Yung, una, yung feeling, yung first feeling na naramdaman ko nung nalaman ko na nag-positive ako sa rapid test. Nanginginig ako guys. Tapos, tapos nung tinawagan pa naman ako guys ng nurse namin, um, mga around 8.30pm na. As in, so parang yung feeling na matutulog ka na. Tapos nalaman mo yung news. Hindi syempre hindi na ako nakatulog. Parang ang dami-dami nang pumasok sa isip ko. Tapos, um, naisip ko na what if magkakaroon ako ng difficulty in breathing. Kasi guys, you, lahat kasi talaga ng symptoms na experience ko except diarrhea. So, yung, yung advice ng nurse namin is monitor mo yung breathing mo. So, kung may napapansin ka na medyo nahihirapan ka ng huminga, tumawag ka agad or diretsyo na or sugod ka na agad sa hospital. So, that time, parang, parang, iniisip ko na talaga yung tama pa ba yung, yung breathing ko kasi nga nagkaklag din yung both nose ko guys so yung ginagamit kong um, para makahinga is yung mouth so parang nafeel ko na parang nagsistruggle na yata ako sa breathing so instead na mag panic nag pray na lang talaga ako guys kahit nakahiga ako paulit ulit kong pinipray yung our father our father ganun so hanggang sa nakatulog ako guys Not so healthy, but just a small amount to make me happy. Hello guys, so it's now time to drink my medicine. So as you can see, I have here yung nilagang luya, yun yung ininom ko kanina. And then for now, ito muna yung ininomin ko. So... Take natin itong Sinopret Forte dahil every 8 hours to siya tinitake. Tapos, I have also the Immunopro and of course, um, my daily um, food supplement, Visana Cell Essentials. So, ito yung dessert ko guys after eating. <laughs> Kinabukasan, day 4, doon ko na napansin na nawala na pala yung panlasa at saka yung smell ko guys, yung sense of smell. 
meron akong perfume sa bag ko. Nag-spray ako sa ano, dito sa katawan ko, sa bed, parang ganun. As in, dun ko na-realize as in zero. Wala talaga akong na-smell. So, dun uh, na-confirm na wala na pala yung sense of smell and sense of taste ko. Kasi even um, gaano kasarap yung mga food na pinaprepare ng parents ko for me, hindi ko talaga siya nalalasahan. And then, after that, day 5 and day 6, um, yung ginawa ko, talaga, ko lang talaga guys, is dinivert ko yung attention ko sa COVID. Um, instead na magmukmuk at masad, nag-exercise ako guys. As in, karabi yung exercise ko. Tapos kapag mainit sa labas, nagpapa-sunbathing, dinadivert ko talaga yung attention ko guys sa vlogging. Dahil alam ko na kung iisipin ko kasi yung COVID, mas lalo akong um, madadown yung immune system ko. Mas lalo akong maghihina. So, instead of thinking about that, in-enjoy ko lang. Nag-vlog ako, guys. Binlog ko itong, itong eyeglass ko. Yung bagong eyeglass ko. I have here. Thank you so much to Papa Nilo for this. Um, this is good for Klagnos, guys. That actually, wala akong naaamoy, guys. Literally. Pero, <clears throat> mab mabisa daw to para sa Klagnos. Tama ba itong ginagawa ako? Hi guys! So today is Monday. Today is the sixth day of my quarantine. And finally guys, nakaligo na tayo after how many days? One, two. Oh my god! Um, um, before ako nag-decide na maligo guys, nag-take ako ng temperature and praise the Lord. Normal na, okay na. Kaya nakapag-decide ako na maligo kasi sobrang init na talaga guys. So, currently, um, yung nafe-feel ko na lang is yung sipon ko. Um, mapapansin naman siguro sa boses ko. Tsaka yung ubo ko din. Um, medyo matamlay pa rin yung katawan ko, guys. But much better compared um, to the previous days. And continue pa din naman ako sa pag-take ng aking mga vitamins. At tsaka ng aking um, antibiotic. At tsaka yung ibang gamot. And um, currently... Um, I am drinking milk kasi nauuhaw ako and that's it sana tuloy-tuloy na yung pagaling natin guys yeah and look at that the sun is so hot and dito muna tayo guys Napakainit, pero masarap sa feeling. Parang nagsusuob lang din. Parang nag, parang natural suob. Ganon. I'm loving the sun so much. And parang namiss, namiss ko talaga yung araw. As <laughs> in, in, in the quarantine for all, oh, I, uh, yeah, for almost a week already. And I really miss the sun. And, totoo pala yung sinabi nila, guys, na tsaka mo lang na-appreciate yung mga small things kapag hindi mo na siya na-experience or kapag wala na. So, finally today, the sun is so hot and I'm loving it and I am enjoying it. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay here just for um, additional one minute. It's just so nice. It's so nice. I'm loving the sun. So, what I really learned about this entire COVID journey of mine, guys, is that you really can't control everything. When the situation arises, all you have to do is to survive it and always pray hard, guys. No matter how bad the day is, no matter what happens, every day can end beautifully. It is really true that life is tough 
but you are tougher. This entire journey makes me realize how important life is and I'm proud to say that I survived COVID-19.